Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we are going to continue the discussion of uh, library of parent functions. We have already discussed some of the functions and their graphs like f of x to be x. Uh, for example, g of x to be x square, uh, h of x to be x cube. So this is the linear function. Uh, you can say that polynomial function of degree 1 or you can say that, that that's an identity function and that's quadratic function or you can say that it's an squaring function or you can say that polynomial function of degree 2 this is cubic function or you can say that uh, the polynomial function of degree 3 and then we have also you know kind of studied another function let me call that f of x which was square root of x and we have also discussed uh, this is a square root function and then we have also discussed the reciprocal function uh, whose graph looked like a uh, parabola, shifted parabola. Now we're going to continue our uh, discussion towards uh, the step function. First, we will see what do we mean by step function. So, a function, a function whose graph, whose graph looks like looks like set of stairs <clears throat> you know, maybe i can say that stair steps okay so when i say that stair steps i mean like this 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 uh, you have seen stairs if you haven't seen let me show it's something like this you know stair steps so we we will discuss one of the example of Tape functions which is greatest integer function let's see what do we mean by uh, greatest integer function and then we will plot its graph so let's define something called greatest integer function greatest integer function you might be thinking what do we mean by this function so we define this function as f of x to be, you know, x inside the capital brackets. Okay, so that way. And for example, previously, if we had this function g of x to be x square, then when we put x equal to 1, it gives me, you know, 1 square. And when I put 2, it gives me 4. So the question is, if I insert, you know, 2 here, what will it give me? So the answer is, what will it give? So whenever you will insert input integer, it will give you integer. So let me put the definition and then I'll be telling you you know the, what does it mean so it will give you greatest integer greatest integer less than or equal to x so whenever you you will insert integer to this it will give you integer back for example, if you are putting 3, it, it will give you 3 back. If you are putting it minus 4, it will give you minus 4. The interesting part would be, okay, when we insert uh, the value in decimal uh, other than integer. For example, if we are talking about what do we mean by uh, f of 0 0.3. So, now you will see where is the 0 0.3 let's say on you know uh, this line so here it is 0 and here it is 1 so 0 is here now this greatest integer gives us integer which is uh, so let me put it into very simple language so what you have to do is basically you have to pick the integer which is on the left of this number decimal 0 0.3 so 0 is the leftest like like it's on the left so right after 0 0.3 on the left side first integer that comes is 0 so it will give it 0 what about f of 0 0.9 it will again give it 0 
what about f of 1 point let's say 5 so 2 is here 1.5 is here so it will assign it 1 what about minus 2.9 so this is 0 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 uh, of course this is minus 2 point uh, this is minus 3 so here it is minus 2.9 so on the left side it is minus 3 so it is going to be minus 3 what about f of minus 3.2 so it will be minus 4 on left side of this minus 3.2 this will be the integer so now let me put it into the very interesting you know kind of notation that uh, if you are talking about the value of x between 0 and 1 then function will always give you output 0 when your x is between 1 and 2 function will give you left integer which is basically 1 when your x is between 2 and 3 it will give you 3 so now you can continue this pattern on the same lines if we are taking you know values into the minus for example uh, minus 1 till 0 then f of x will give me minus 1 if I'm talking about the value of x between uh, minus 2 and minus 1 then it will give me minus 2 why because it's the left side greatest integer minus 2 if it is between minus 3 and minus 2 it will give me minus 3 so on so forth you can continue this pattern as well now let let's put this uh, you know these values onto the graph okay so let me plot this on this is my y this is my x okay so this is y this is y negative this is x this is x negative so let's say here it is 1 here it is 2 3 4 5 6 maybe this is 1 this is 2 3 4 this is 5 okay so like if you kind of recall then when our value of the x was between 0 and 1 0 and 1 then function was equal to 0 so on this interval the value of function is 0 so let me use uh, this this one right over here so it's here of course this is not included this zero is included and then when our x was between one and two the value of function was one when the x value is between one and two the function value is one so on 1 to 2 it's 1 like this on 2 to 3 the function value is 2 on 3 to 4 the function value is 3 4 to 5 the value of function is 4 and 5 to 6 the function value is 5 and you will continue this pattern because between minus 1 and 0 it's minus 1 here from minus 1 to minus 2 it's minus 1 or oh, minus 2 so this one is here then when our x value is between minus 2 and minus 3 then our y value is minus 3 you can say that here so you will follow this pattern even for minus 4 so it it really looks like set of steps uh stair steps so that's the function greatest integer value function whose graph is here and 
it really looks like set of stairs you can you know kind of uh, see from here so that's the greatest integer functions graph uh, further you can ask some more questions about this uh, one question can be asked that uh, what is the domain of this function in fact the domain is going to be all real numbers and what is going to be the range say that the range is going to be a set of all integers and then you can ask whether it is uh, where it is increasing decreasing so it is in its constant on each interval you know having different value and um, maybe you can ask how many x intercept does it have so it has got uh, infinitely many x intercepts each value between 0 and 1 including 0 is x intercept so all these are you know 0 0.1 0 0.11 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.9 all these values which are between 0 and 1 are x intercepts of this function uh, let's meet uh, with some other you know kind of operations on this function but in the next video till that laugh is